Champion had a chance to make it three apiece. Uh, but the ball ready to charge, he hopes, as it stands at the moment. He, if he wins this, will go within a point of John Park. But the leg difference could be all important. Jenkins may yet have to beat Barney and Cardiff to snatch fifth place from the Canadian. But we've seen on a couple of occasions in this 2009 Premier League that you don't write John Part off. He's behind at the break and he has been, but he's gone on to win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I agree. Uh, come a long way John Park to throw the towel in and you won't therefore see him do it I think that goes for all of the players in this tournament you know uh, Stuart I, I, I think you, you've got to say what gives them that added quality is the wow. fact that they are so determined even in the face of adversity uh, yes uh, Park at the moment with nine points Jenkins with six but a game in hand and uh, if Jenkins were to win this, he'd go within a point of part. He could go above him by beating Barnabell, but a draw might be enough. The legs difference going into this game between them was minus, uh, was four. The legs difference between them was four to Park's advantage. As the score stands, the legs difference is exactly equal. Park and Jenkins, this 4-2 score for Jenkins means that the legs difference is absolutely spot on equal. Yeah, as you say, as far as John Park's concerned, this is a, a straight cash match. Two and a half grand on it. Jenkins, though, uh, great darts again from Terry Jenkins. And uh, well, we talked about John Park come back to his best in Exeter. Week 10, 6-3 down against uh, Mervyn King. And won five straight legs to snatch the win. He may have to produce something similar here in Sheffield. Job Park playing with new darts for the first time in competition. Yes, uh, James May completes his 12 games tonight. John Park completes his 12 games here against Terry Jenkins. Hillary will complete his dozen matches tonight his next game and he uh, beats James Wade which leaves next week wow. uh, Stuart two more exhibition matches as we watch there the flight of John Park anything um, discernibly different I the angle of delivery into the board oh, wow. oh, oh, nothing wrong with that one and he really is going now Jenkins his third 180 really puts him in with a great chance now of stealing a 7-2 lead and guaranteeing himself at least a point from this contest. But he wants to go on and win it and win it convincingly. Well, he's going to have to go for it surely with part on 142. Come on Terry. Well John Park can not only take out 142 here but perhaps deny Terry Jenkins a thousand pounds 141 at the moment is the highest checkout of the night that's not a bad start he may well stay up there and go for I did and if he'd hit the treble 20 he'd have wanted double 11 don't blame him for staying up there he just hit it fancied it again no 25 for a 6-2 lead a crucial break again well it's finishing Tonight has been, apart from one leg, it's temporary. And uh, the Canadian here knows he has got some problems. 6 2. And it's a long way back now for John Park. Yes, and, and Stuart, just to remind, next week our two Premier League matches feature Barnabelt and Jenkins, as we've highlighted. Jenkins. Looks as though he's going to be in a position where a point would be sufficient to take him into fifth place. And then we've got, uh, well, the admirable Mervyn King has had a wonderful, wonderful tournament 55. against Phil Taylor. Yeah, also worth mentioning, uh, John, that next week we'll see on Sky Sports for the very first time the former BDO number one Gary Anderson and the former Lakeside champion Mark Webster who will be both in action live on Sky in Cardiff 
in exhibition matches and well it's been a pretty good dancing exhibition so far from from Terry Jenkins tonight yes we've seen uh, two completed games already the challenge matches that have been of the highest quality and this one is up there with them and the next one a follow I guess James Wayne no, yellow class still two very young men going to entertain us further so a 170 well we've had a few of those during the course of the last 11 or 12 weeks let's have another one now Teddy oh come on ball for the ball that was close that was close yes that was that close folks to a 1-7-0 maximum finish and a certain brand in his hand probably 59. John Paul leaves himself 160 but it could be too little too late now as Teddy Jenkins oh he nudged the wire a fraction in oh 17. well Paul can John make 160 yeah. worth a grand well, Wade, Classen and Taylor have all checked out 170 Jenkins was close 160 coming in for part got a chance now got a chance the Canadian oh unlucky just lost the line at the last the last millisecond that dart I think when he threw it he thought it was going in it makes no difference now Jenkins has his point and part now has to win five consecutive legs to snatch the draw which will guarantee fifth spot the way he is playing uh, it ain't gonna happen well that, at the moment we know the top four is uh, secure but that's how it is at the moment and a Jenkins victory will take him level or well, a point behind part I should say knowing that uh, uh, point will do against Barney yes to put him in the money or even more money Jenkins now on that legs difference really has uh, put distance between himself and John Park, but that's why he wanted this convincing win to make sure that next week uh, a single point will do. Well, a slip with the second dart, but not too much damage done. Damage limitation here for the Canadian. He looks pretty cheesed up to me. Well, just just in case this is the last leg, you know what we were explaining, talking about the PDC order of merit and the fact that John Park has got a lot of money to defend because he won the world title, didn't he? And won 100,000 for that. Uh, he is defending between now and the end of the year £144,000 in prize money. So he's got a lot to do, the Canadian, if he wants to be back here next year. Well, big names don't necessarily deserve a guaranteed place in the Premier League and I'm not talking folks Eight about five. Newcastle United Joe or anybody one, else one, one, I'm nine. talking about the parts and the Jenkins of this world well, chance here Sorry, to wrap 90. it all up very very comfortably 16 would lead the ball what an apt way this would be to win the match to be fair, John, he blocked, he blocked the third half. It was always difficult start. for him. So many of the players do find a way through so often. But John Farr now knows that he really has to. Oh, dear, dear. 19. Only one dart at double 16. Should have been having two. He's really annoyed with himself. But, credit, he steadies himself.